For decades, the Soviet Union had one obsession, Venus. They launched 30 missions, a relentless pursuit to a world of crushing pressure and temperatures hot enough to melt lead. While the world watched the moon, they were daring to go to a planetary hellscape. What they learned changed everything. They revealed a hidden world of violent winds, volcanic plains, and a runaway greenhouse effect that holds lessons for us all. This is the untold story of the space race. Between 1961 and 1984, the Soviet Union launched 30 missions to Venus. That's more than twice NASA's total lunar missions during the Apollo era. This relentless pursuit revealed a world with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead and pressures 90 times Earth's. We'll examine what they learned and why Venus became their prime target. The Cold War Space Race Target Soviet space planners chose Venus for several practical reasons that matched their capabilities during the Cold War. The space race created pressure to achieve firsts, but Venus presented different challenges than the Moon or Mars. While NASA concentrated its efforts on lunar missions and later Mars, Soviet scientists identified Venus as a target where they could establish clear leadership. Venus orbits closer to Earth than Mars does. This proximity meant shorter travel times and less fuel requirement for early Soviet rockets. Their launch vehicles could reliably send probes to Venus within months rather than years. The planet's thick cloud cover also offered scientific mystery. Some researchers held the hypothesis that oceans or even primitive life might exist beneath those clouds. This possibility added scientific motivation beyond the political competition. Soviet space doctrine emphasized automated missions over human spaceflight for planetary exploration. They developed robust unmanned spacecraft that could operate independently. This approach suited Venus perfectly, since human travel there remains impossible even today. The extreme environment required fully automated systems anyway. Each mission failure taught engineers valuable lessons that improved subsequent designs. They gradually developed spacecraft that could survive the descent through acidic clouds and withstand immense surface pressure. The data returned transformed our understanding of planetary science. Venus became the Soviet Union's primary planetary target because it offered achievable milestones. They could reach it with existing technology and potentially return valuable scientific data first. This strategic focus defined their planetary program for decades. The Venera missions provided a sustained exploration effort that built competence and delivered results. The consensus view is that Venus represented a calculated choice based on technical feasibility and scientific opportunity. While Mars captured public imagination, Venus offered a more practical target for Soviet capabilities. Their systematic approach eventually produced the first successful landings on another planet, returning images and data that changed planetary science. Engineering through extreme conditions. Engineers faced unprecedented challenges building spacecraft for Venus. The surface conditions include temperatures around 465 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead, and atmospheric pressure equivalent to being 900 meters underwater on Earth. Early Venera probes failed completely, crushed by pressure or destroyed by heat before reaching the surface. The engineering team learned from each failure. They developed spherical titanium pressure vessels to protect the electronics. These sealed containers could withstand 90 times Earth's atmospheric pressure. The landers needed special cooling systems using phase change materials that absorbed extreme heat during descent. These systems gave the instruments approximately two hours of operation on the surface before overheating. The descent through Venus's dense atmosphere required precise parachute systems. Engineers designed multiple parachute stages that deployed at specific altitudes. The main parachute slowed the initial descent, then was jettisoned to prevent hanging in the hot lower atmosphere too long. A smaller drag chute provided final braking without melting. Venera 4 in 1967 provided the first direct measurements of Venus's atmosphere during descent. The probe transmitted data for 93 minutes 
before failing at approximately 25 kilometers altitude. Subsequent missions incorporated thicker hulls and improved thermal protection. Venera 7 in 1970 became the first spacecraft to transmit data from another planet's surface, surviving for 23 minutes. Through iterative design improvements, engineers extended surface survival time. Venera 13 in 1982 operated for 127 minutes, returning the first color photographs from Venus's surface. The images showed an orange sky above rocky plains. The lander drilled soil samples and analyzed composition before succumbing to the heat. Each mission incorporated lessons from previous failures. The Soviet approach emphasized incremental improvement rather than radical redesign. This method proved effective for extreme environment exploration where initial failure was almost certain. The engineering solutions developed for Venus informed later missions to other challenging destinations in our solar system, revealing the hellscape. The Venera missions systematically revealed Venus's true nature, eliminating early speculations about habitable conditions. Each successful landing provided another piece of the puzzle transforming our understanding of Earth's so-called twin planet. The data showed a world fundamentally different from early hopes of oceans or temperate zones. Atmospheric analysis confirmed an extreme greenhouse effect. The Venera landers measured carbon dioxide concentrations of approximately 96%. This dense atmosphere traps solar energy, creating surface temperatures around 465 degrees Celsius. The pressure readings reached 92 times Earth's sea level pressure, equivalent to being nearly a kilometer underwater. These measurements explained why no liquid water could exist on the surface. Surface composition experiments revealed basalt plains similar to volcanic rock on Earth. The Venera landers deployed drills and spectrometers that analyzed soil samples. They detected elements including potassium, uranium, and thorium in proportions resembling terrestrial basalts. Some geological features suggested relatively recent volcanic activity, though the exact timing remains uncertain. The hypothesis is that Venus may still have active volcanism today. The missions mapped cloud structure using descent measurements and orbital observations. They identified multiple cloud layers composed primarily of sulfuric acid droplets. Wind tracking revealed super rotation, where the upper atmosphere circulates around the planet much faster than the surface rotates. Winds at cloud level reach speeds exceeding 300 kilometers per hour, completing a full rotation of the planet in just four Earth days. Color photographs from Venera 13 and 14 showed an orange sky above rocky landscapes. The surface illumination resembles a heavily overcast day on Earth with visibility extending several kilometers. The images revealed flat plains with scattered rocks and fine-grained soil. No evidence of erosion or water-shaped features appeared in any photographs. The consensus view is that Venus represents a case study in runaway greenhouse effect. Each mission added data points that built a comprehensive picture of a dynamic but hostile world. The Soviet findings demonstrated how similar planetary starting conditions can lead to drastically different outcomes. Venus transformed from mysterious twin to understood example of extreme planetary evolution. Modern planetary scientists continue to use Venera data as reference points. The measurements provide baseline information for climate modeling and comparative planetology. The scientific legacy and modern relevance. The Venera program's data remains scientifically valuable today despite being collected decades ago. Planetary scientists continue to reference these measurements because modern Venus exploration has been limited. Only a handful of missions have visited Venus since the Soviet era, making the Venera findings uniquely comprehensive for surface conditions. These historical measurements provide baseline data for climate modeling. The precise temperature and pressure readings help researchers understand extreme greenhouse effects. Scientists use this information to test climate models that predict how atmospheres evolve under different conditions. 
The Venera data offers a real-world example of runaway greenhouse effect that cannot be replicated in laboratories. Evidence of volcanic activity from the missions helps explain planetary evolution. The landers detected chemical signatures, suggesting recent geological activity. This information assists scientists in understanding why Venus developed differently than Earth, despite similar size and composition. The hypothesis is that Venus lacked plate tectonics, leading to different heat distribution and atmospheric development. Modern NASA missions build directly on Venera's foundational work. The Veritas orbiter will create detailed surface maps using radar, complementing the Soviet-era landing site data. The Da Vinci Plus probe will analyze atmosphere composition, expanding on Venera's initial measurements. These missions treat the Soviet data as ground truth for planning observations and interpreting new results. The engineering approaches developed for Venus continue to influence extreme environment exploration. The pressure vessel designs and thermal protection systems inform concepts for missions to Jupiter's moon, Europa, or Saturn's moon Titan. Engineers study how Soviet spacecraft survived brief operations in extreme conditions when planning future landers. The scientific consensus is that Venera data provides crucial reference points that cannot be replaced. While instruments have improved, the basic measurements of surface conditions remain valid. Researchers combine modern orbital data with historical surface measurements to create complete planetary models. This integrated approach produces more accurate understandings of Venus's environment and history. The lasting value of Soviet Venus exploration demonstrates how systematic data collection maintains relevance across decades. Even with advancing technology, early measurements from challenging environments continue to support new discoveries. The Venera program shows that sustained exploration of difficult targets yields long-term scientific returns that inform future missions. Conclusion The Soviet Venus program demonstrated how sustained exploration transforms our understanding of other worlds. Their systematic approach overcame extreme technical constraints through incremental improvements. This historical example shows the value of focused, iterative space exploration. These lessons remain relevant as NASA and ESA plan new Venus missions. The data collected decades ago continues to inform modern planetary science. Consider how much we might learn from similar dedicated efforts elsewhere in our solar system. Targets like Europa or Titan present different challenges, but the method remains valid. Persistent investigation of difficult environments yields discoveries that single missions cannot achieve.